And here we are with another episode of Community Highlights. And this one is a doozy. I'm finding out so much brand new information. I'm very excited. My guest today is Dr. Howard Grossman. He is the new uh, doctor head honcho at the clinic at the center. Right. We're called we're called the the, uh, the center wellness clinic. The center wellness clinic. Very nice. It opens this Monday. It opened Monday. last Monday. Oh, oh, you're open. Okay, okay, okay good to know. And you told me where it's located. It's not at the center. It's just down the street at Maryland and Las Vegas Boulevard. No, it's 921 South Las Vegas Boulevard. 921 South Las Vegas Boulevard. Right off the corner of Charleston. Charleston. I said Maryland. Park, and right across Charleston. from the Soho Lofts. The Soho Lofts. A lot of people know where those are. Exactly. Big white law. Okay. Charleston. Las Vegas Boulevard, right? right. Gotcha. Right. And you said someone just purchased the building, right? You got the space now that you need, exactly. and you're going to be able to upgrade medical and health services to so many people that need it, not just LBGTQI plus, but anyone in the community that needs help. That's it. You don't we, have to be gay to go there. No, nope, you don't have to be gay, but it helps. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> that should be on your side. You don't have to be gay, but it helps. I don't know about all that, but thank right. you, doctor, for being here today. Thanks for and, having me. No, it's my pleasure. And you've got your companion here today. This is a uh, this is your dog, Dante. Dante, mm -hmm. he's adorable, and he's in the office with me every day. He's there all the time, right. so he checks in the patients and basically he's, yeah, he barks. They got to go. He never barks. Never barks. That's good to know. That's why I love this breed. Well, he's probably seen everything in the world already. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, doctor, I'm gonna let you talk for a second. Tell us about how this, how this particular medical clinic got started, mm -hmm. and how it relates to the center, where your funding comes from. And I'm gonna let you talk. Okay. Well, so you know that the center is celebrating its 31st year this year. Right. I guess they started in, you know, just off Sahara, uh, and now and then built the center on Maryland Parkway. Um, for the last bunch of years, they've had a very small clinic. It used to be run by the health department, and the center took it over, and mostly it was for STD and HIV testing. Right. That will continue in the center, so that's not going away. But about a year ago, they decided to uh, do primary care um, and, and, um, and HIV care and gender-affirming therapy. Excellent. So you know Dr. Jerry Cade. He's I do. I've known Dr. Jerry for years and years. He, he was really... the probably the first doctor in Las Vegas to, to seriously take care of people living with HIV. He did. In the 80s, 70s, 80s he was. And he is our medical director, so I'm not the head honcho. You, I'm yes, the, that's all right. I'm the associate. <laughs> well, the two of you are incredible. Right. So good but uh, Jerry and I have known each other since 1979. So oh, Lord. We went through the pandemic, the epidemic of yeah. HIV together. Um, and I, what I like to, so, so what I'd like to say about this clinic is we are a primary care clinic. Um, but I, we specialize in LGBTQ health, right. HIV medicine, and gender-affirming therapy. Okay. But we're open to everybody. For well, now you've care. mentioned that twice, the gender-affirming therapy. That's a big issue. has been for a long time, but it seems like more is in the eye more for a lot of reasons. Right. Uh, and what does that, how does that work? Just give us a brief, uh, if someone's confused about the their sexuality or their gender. Their gender, right? Uh, it's different from. Is this a, is this like a uh, therapy clinic or is it a, just a affirming? You know. No, generally, we, we don't have behavioral health yet in okay. that site. We will. Right. I mean, as the clinic expands, right now we just have the medical clinic. As okay. we expand, because it's three floors and we need to build out two more that, of them, well, we will have behavioral stuff. health, pharmacy, dental. Uh, radiology, um, you know, we'll have a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, uh, we've, you know, we have a very famous cardiologist in town who's going to read our EKGs. He's Amazing. Here. Amazing. Uh, and, you know, so it really we're trying to pull together as many services as we can in one place with the idea of becoming what's called a federally qualified health center. Excellent. Right. Excellent. So like Fenway in Boston uh -huh. or the L.A. Community Center yes, you know, or Desert, you know, yes. Desert A's project, all those famous. And this is all possible through funding? We get funding from grants. Yes. Uh, and we are, our chief medical officer is busily writing grant applications. Nice. And we have a development officer, of course, at the center. Yes. Um, and, and we also charge, you know, if people have insurance or they have Medicaid, we get paid by that. Okay. Well, like any medical facility. Exactly. But, but we take care of people without regard to pay. So okay. Oh, so no insurance. So if you don't have insurance, you won't be turned away. No. And, and that you, money comes out of grants. 
comes from grant. Okay. That's good so, to know. You know, we do the best we can with the resources we have. Right. Um, for for those people, but that's I've, amazing. I've seen several people without insurance. Well, in the last all week. the things you just mentioned, the dental, and just to be able to go get a checkup mm -hmm. and check and see if, if you've got something. You know, some people don't know where to go. Or where. Right. it's amazing that Vegas, Las yeah. Vegas, has finally gotten progressive enough to have this sort of thing. And God bless you, Dr. Person, stepping up and, and put you and Jerry, Dr. Dr. K. Yeah. Uh, and I'm new to Vegas. I've only been here a year and a half, but you know, for me, this is the capstone of my career. This okay. is what I've and always done. Where are you from? Well, I grew up in New Jersey. Okay. We won't hold that against you. No, so thank you. I, I live, but I got out quick. Okay. I Same thing with Texas. I was out. Man. I, I spent <laughs> about 40 years in New York City in Manhattan. Oh, it was nice. Okay. Um, but I've lived in Boston and Florida, in Washington, D.C. I ran the American Academy of HIV Medicine. Oh, for wonderful. Years. Uh, San Francisco, uh, been around. So you're pretty familiar with all the different uh, areas where people need health care, especially LPGT exactly. and uh, exactly. QUI Plus. And, and we haven't about. had that here in Vegas. I mean, I've learned a lot of the history of what's been here. And I know when I came here, I said, where's a gay doctor that I That's right. To? And there were two names that were given. Dr. Cade was always number Dr. one. Dr. Cade was one, but you know, he just did HIV. That's right. Um, and Dr. Dino Gonzalez, who's in Southwest, everybody Absolutely. knows Dino and he's great. Um, but there's been a real lack and there's a huge uh, LGBT community here. Yes. You know, and we will also be helping to do telemedicine for people in remote rural areas. Nice. I just had a patient today from Pahrump. Uh, who came, you know, there's very little medical care up there. Sure. I've had, I, when my last job, I had people coming from Tonopah, um, you know, driving three hours because there's, there's a nurse practitioner up there. And that's a, right. Um, Is it really? I didn't know it was like that. No well, we did. For what I do, we, we talk about, you know, Tonopah and, and, and Perump, the hump to Perump and all that. <laughs> but when you think about it, those little communities, they need the care they need and they don't necessarily have it. So this is amazing. So you can do remote uh, health care. That's just amazing to me. And, and I'm so proud that uh, Las Vegas has stepped up and that the center and you and Dr. Kane and Dr. all that have come together. It's amazing to me. I don't know why. I just think I didn't know this was really happening, uh, but God, I'm so glad it is. It's been a little secret, but you know, our grand opening is going to be in October. So okay. right now we call it our soft opening. Okay. But we are seeing patients, and people can call. And, nice. And, um, and is there a website? Or just go to the center. If you go to the center website. You'll see it. There's a the Arlene we'll Cooper Center, up. which is the, the the what's what's still at the, sure. at the center on Maryland Parkway, right. and then this is the Center Wellness Clinic. Wonderful. Okay. Well, it's so nice to know that there's actually a place to go to now if you're if you if you need medical help, uh, and you say medical dental, d dental primary care, all of that's going to be included, whether you have insurance or not. Exactly. And through the grants and Medicare and Medicaid and all that's going to yeah. hopefully be very well. Thank and you. I hope people make the trip down. You know, we're just on the edge of the Arts District. I know a lot of people. Well, that's so not you know what downtown, and it's been popular now, and everybody kind of knows it's where it is. Getting more and it's popular. not hard to find at all. No. Right off the freeway, exactly. Right there. Exactly. So I hope that I hope that we will be a place where where our entire community feels comfortable. Well, you got my vote. When it's time to do a fundraiser, call me. Okay, I'm there. For sure. You know, yeah. I've done a million of them, and that's what I love to do. And even support Las Vegas. I spent my home for almost forty years now, and I love it here. And I wouldn't break it for nothing. It's funny going back to Texas. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not going back to New York? No. No, Not yet. I just moved to Summerlin last two weeks ago and oh. way up on the hill, like the last oh. street in Las Vegas. God bless. You. And I look at I, I look at the strip every night. <laughs> nice. You see the whole strip. Yeah, Vegas is a beautiful place to live. Uh, everyone, uh, Dr. Howard Grossman, uh, uh, the, the new clinic is called the, Cent the Center Wellness Clinic, Central? 721 South Las Vegas Boulevard, right across from the Bliss Wedding Chapel and across the yeah. from Soho. Of course, it's across from the Wedding Chapel. I sit at my desk and I watch the wedding. Really? <laughs> really I love it. And the Mexican consulate. On the, is well, the see, place. there you well, have it. It's a great location. Yeah. yeah. Is that the... Uh, uh, to call it, the Mexican consulate. Mexican consulate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought it had a name. No, no, the consulate of Mexico. That's, that's the, good you know, to know. Official representatives of Mexico here. In okay. Las Vegas. So it's actually on the strip. It's just way downtown by the art district. Exactly. That's wonderful. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Howard. Uh, Dr. Grossman. Mr. Howard. Dr. Gr Howard. Howard's Mr. fine. Howard. Uh, I'm glad we're friends now. I may have to come see you. You never know. You're welcome. I might need a breast augmentation.
Well, I can do the face. I okay. Can... <laughs> thank you, Doctor. Now I want to thank you all for tuning in. And again, uh, thank you for coming and telling us all about this brand new thing in Las Vegas. We love it. We'll be back soon with more community highlights.